Hello, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. All right, so today we have the day we've all been waiting for, a new fall collection. I know a lot of people have been smelling these already and have their opinions, so I cannot wait to tell you how I feel about these. As you know, I'm not that into fall scents just because they can be a little heavy for me. But I actually like a few in this collection, and this was actually during the time where they were giving a free candle out online. So I do have the hello, uh, white pumpkin candle. Um, it was a like free gift uh, with a purchase, and then it was free shipping if you spend fifty dollars, something like that. This made me really excited because I actually wanted this candle. Um, I passed on it because there was other ones I wanted more, so I was really excited to get this. I love the smell of this. It literally smells like pumpkin and like caramel, yeah, ginger, ginger white pumpkin caramel glaze and spices. It literally smells like fall. Literally like fall. Like every like Halloween section in a store smells like this. It just smells really good. This is perfect. I love the packaging, so I was really excited to get this with my order. Side note, I did need to add something small just to go over the uh, $50. And um, I added the vanilla buttercream hand cream. I don't use their hand creams. Let me know if they're good. Um, but I couldn't pass it up. I mean, it smells like cake. It smells like cake batter. It smells really good. So just real quick note, there's three fragrances that I did not get. And I'll tell you why. So the first one is Sweet Whiskey, which is a repackage. So I didn't feel the need for it. Also, I do not have that in my collection for a reason. I do not like Sweet Whiskey. I know it's a lot of people's favorite. It's a little smoky for me, every version of it. It's just a little, a little, it's just not my vibe. So I do not really like that scent. Um, same with Bonfire Bash. That is a repackage and a repackage that is way too smoky for me um, and heavy. It smells like, like ash to me, which is just too much for my senses. And then there's the violet one. That one, I was so shocked by. I did not think I would like it at all. I do not like florals. However, it is such a pretty scent. Now, the reason I didn't purchase it is because I know florals I don't reach for often. Also, it reminds me of a stronger, heavier, in the floral department version of Open Sky. I believe that one has violet in it, correct me if I'm wrong, but it reminds me of that vibe, just more of a sweet floral with it. So I figured I already have something kind of similar and I won't use it often, but if you're like wondering whether to blind buy it, it is very pretty. If you already know you like violet scents, it is, I love that scent. It's very pretty. It's just, I don't need it in my collection. All right, let's start with one that a lot of people are really excited for, including myself. This is Fairy Tale. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. I want a scent that is called Fairy Tale. It's just everything. Um, it looks very like some of the details are raised. So it's very, very pretty. It's beautiful packaging. This is pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. I've heard great things about this so far, but I have to be honest with you guys. I do not like this scent. This to me, pomegranate is always a little heavy for me. Usually if something is pomegranate, I may not like it just because it's very deep. Um, and fruit mixed with like amber and vanilla notes tends to be a little nauseating. It's like, it kind of reminds me of the florals in um, Dahlia. It kind of reminds me of the florals in, florals in Dahlia. That one's like a creamy floral, but it's a little like heavy, almost smells like a dusty room, like a dusty floral. It's very sweet. You definitely get that pomegranate. It's a very sweet pomegranate fragrance, but those there's like these dusty floral undertones that makes it heavy. I could see how a lot of people like this. I think people that like things like Into the Night and um, Little Black Party Dress and all those kind of like heavier licorice smells, I think they will like this. This is a lot sweeter, I'd say. It's very sweet. You definitely get that pomegranate. You get a little of that orange and like a decent amount of those dusty florals. And there's like a vanilla and amber note in there. It's just a little much for me. It's not my favorite. Unfortunately, <laughs> I wanted to like it at least a little bit um, for the packaging, but it's just not for me. I know a lot of people love this, so don't take my word for it, but if you like the same scents as me and you've been watching my videos and you're realizing that, then you may potentially want to smell this in store and not blind buy it. This time, even the packaging can't sell me. As it's settling down, I get more of that vanilla. It's just like a vanilla amber floral note. But something about the initial spray is just 
heavy for me. So yeah, not my absolute favorite, unfortunately. All right, next up I have Raspberry Chiffon, which I was so excited for. We know Pink Chiffon has been like a favorite for a lot of people. It's a very sweet scent, so I was very curious about this. Um, this is Black Raspberry Iced Pear Whipped Sugar. Now, initially, on initial spray, it's like a sweeter version of, is it Black Raspberry Vanilla? That scent, and I was shocked because I'm like, we just had that scent, or do we still have it? It reminds me of, okay, hear me out. Let me know if you agree, if you have both of these scents, but it reminds me of the love child of Black Raspberry Vanilla and Be Enchanted. Be Enchanted, I believe, has a pomegranate note. It's a little like heavier, but it's sweet and almost like tangy. I get that sweet tanginess in this, and then it smells like raspberry vanilla. It's literally those two combined. That's what it smells like to me. It's very pretty. It's very sweet. Do I need it? No. Next up, you guys, I have Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Despite this being a repackage, I still purchased it because back in the day, I bought it and then I believe I gave it away because I didn't like it. These are the type of scents that are difficult for me. If they're gourmand, absolutely love it. But this is a little too, like... I want this in a candle, I want my home to smell like this. When I go to fall activities, I want everything to smell like this, but I don't want to smell like this, if that makes sense. This is Heirloom Pumpkin Autumn Cinnamon Ginger Snap Whipped Vanilla. It's a very fall scent. I don't remember this having such an intense ginger smell. Let me know if you have old versions of this because I get a lot of ginger. But yeah, this is a nice like pumpkin, apple orchard, cinnamon kind of scent. It's very fall, 100% fall. I know this is so many people's favorite. The packaging on this collection is gorgeous, but it's not for me. I want this in a candle. Even then it might be a little too like cinnamony for me. Next up, you guys, I have Crisp Morning Air. I love the packaging that they have of like the fresh fragrances. I even like this little part. This is Fragrance Mist. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but this is Crisp Fall Breeze Golden Amberwood Juicy Apple. I do like apple, not if the apple scent is too intense though. This, I really, really like. If you like apples and champagne, but you don't like the champagne note, this is for you. It's basically a very fresh, airy apple. The apple is the strongest note in here, and it smells like a straight up real red apple, like the inside of it. If you opened it and you just smelled it, that's what it would smell like. And there's like a fresh kind of air vibe to it, like when it starts getting colder and you get a gust of cold wind, that's what it smells like. Which actually makes sense because the fragrance note is crisp fall breeze. I personally really like this scent. I'm definitely keeping it for those like fresh autumn days. I almost want to just be in like a cardigan out on a balcony, like sipping like warm apple cider. Like that's what this reminds me of. It's very pretty essentially just a fresh apple scent and you do get that like fall air kind of vibe. Yeah, I really like this one. This is definitely a keep for me. Next up you guys, I have Ivory Cashmere. This is Fresh Lakeside Air, Silver Musk, White Amber. Now, normally I'm not a fan of cashmere scents at all, but this almost got me. This is really pretty. It's sweet and fresh and has cashmere. It's a very pleasant, welcoming, cashmere that's not too heavy. If I liked cashmere a little bit, I would love this fragrance. I'm still thinking about whether to keep it or not for those days that like I'm showering at night or something and just want like a nice cashmere scent because that's usually when I would wear it. If you like cashmere and you like fresh scents, this is the perfect sweet combination. I'm shocked. All of, This entire collection is very like fresh. All right, last but not least, you guys, I have Wrapped in Sunshine Packaging, again, gorgeous. This is Golden Citrus White Peach Blonde Woods. Now this scent, you guys, tell me if I'm crazy. This smells like Mango Mai Tai. Like, it must be that peach that's so juicy that it almost smells like mango. I don't know. If you like Mango Mai Tai, you will like this. It's almost like Mango Mai Tai with like a slight citrus note. If you just added a little bit of like lemon to Mango Mai Tai, this is what it would smell like. It has that same intense, intense juiciness. And it's like, I don't need it because I have Mango Mai Tai, but the packaging with a little bit of citrus, I mean, I love Mango Mai Tai. It's one of my favorite scents. So obviously I like this. This is my favorite one. Does it scream fall? No, absolutely not. It's a very sugary, like 
exactly like Mango Mai Tai. Yeah, I'm obsessed with this. I'm shocked. I didn't think it would smell the way it does, but I'm not mad at it. All right, you guys, those are the false scents. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, if you're debating on blind buying and you just want to know more information, just let me know down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.